guys, it's Avi Lamont. Welcome back to my channel. So I am here today with a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. Um, it's a little subdued, but um, Valentine's Day nonetheless with pinks and purples. Um, but this you can definitely take into like a fun date night or just like wear during the day and not seem too festive, but it's also very Valentine's day e at the same time. All right, but I'm not gonna ramble and I just wanna get straight into the video. I wanna keep this video pretty short. Uh, so if you wanna see how I got this look, just keep watching. I have my what's well, not coffee and instead it's apple cider vinegar and hot water. It's, all right, so for my face, I'm just going to be using the Becca Ultimate Coverage Full Foundation. I think I said that wrong. Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream, but it's like a full coverage foundation. So this is kind of what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of that on. Um, you only need to take like a couple pumps and just kind of take a brush and some of that in. And then I'll just kind of be going with some concealer to uh, just highlight underneath my eyes. Okay, so I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to highlight underneath my eyes and on my chin. And now I'm going in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. I believe this is an ebony. The color ebony. I get like the darkest one because I have no eyebrows. And um, the goal is just to try and make them still look as natural as possible. So I'm going in with that. Now I'm just going in with a little e.l.f. brush, just like $3, like a little brush, and I'm just going to take that and blend out all of my concealer. Alright, so now I'm going in with my MAC Mineralizing Skin Finish, and it's in the color Dark, and I'm just going to go through and just kind of set my whole face with this, even what I did with the concealer. And then I'm going to go in my Sasha Buttercup. Um, setting powder and just kind of go back in under my eyes to give it that extra little pop. Uh, but yeah. Alright, so I'm going in with my Morphe W palette and I'm going in with that orange color and I'm just going to use that as my transition color right there on my crease. It's a very subtle color, you can't really tell the difference, but it does make it easier to blend. Now I want this to be kind of a smoky Valentine's Day look with pinks and purples, so I'm going in back and forth with those two purple colors, and I'm just going to focus that on the outer corners of my eye. And with the first two colors in the palette, I'm going to go in and take that over basically the first two thirds of my eye and that's going to be basically the base for a shimmer that I'm going to put on top. So I just want to really lighten up my eye. Now I'm really going to pack on that base color there and spend some time blending out all three of the colors that I've put on so far. So now at my Lorac Pro palette, I'm going to go in with the champagne color and it's going to add kind of a, what seems to be a little pinkish tone and it's a little sparkly so it makes this, um, excuse me, this look very fun. And then so I don't have such a hard transition between the champagne color and the purple. I'm taking mauve from the Lorac Pro palette as well and I'm just going to blend that right in the middle. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my face really um, shortly. I'm not doing my eyes, but I'm just going in with the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. I'm hit pan with this, but now that it's winter, I kind of go back and forth just a little bit. Um, I go very light since this is like really light for me, um, but just to uh, highlight a little bit underneath my eyes. And I even bring it down right above my lip too, just to make sure it all blends well. I'm gonna go in and bronze up my face a little bit. This is with the Black Radiance True Complexion uh, Contour Palette. Uh, it's the light to medium. I actually really, really like this. So I'm going to uh, mix in between the contour and the sculpt. Um, the sculpt is a little bit of a darker color to me, but I kind of mix the two. Now I'm gonna take that same palette and I'm just gonna uh, define my nose a little bit too. And then with some apple cider vinegar, I am ready for my next step. And I'm just adding a little bit of that purple to my under eye. This is probably my least favorite part of doing makeup. I always get it in my eye, it's so painful. Now I learned this trick from Jaclyn Hill and this is just kind of how to clean up your eyeshadow. She taught it to kind of teach how it uh, to do kind of a really cut 
uh, eyeshadow. So I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup and I'm going to use that to kind of help cut that definition in my eye. And this is what you see a lot of people doing when they're kind of cutting their contour underneath their cheeks. So I'm going to let it sit there and bake a little bit and then I'm just going to brush it off. And it's just going to kind of help clean up that area. I'm not a huge fan of the winged eyeliner just because my eyes are so round and large I feel like it cuts them um, a little bit too much but I am going to do just a little baby wing here just so that I feel like my eyes stay you know pretty wide open but it also has a little effect of having the wing liner. Okay, one of the final steps before my lips will be lashes. I am going in with the Ardell Glamour and this is number 105. Uh, so I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara to my eyes and then I'm going to go in with uh, these. They're quite long. Usually I like the kind of staggered, like long, short, long, short, and full. Um, but these aren't that, but we'll live and kind of go with it. And I know a lot of people like to try and put it on while the glue is tacky. I like, it's helpful for me, I don't know why, but just have it that like stage right before tacky. So like the glue is still kind of wet. and. Um, I just have to be very careful is something that I have to do but um, I like putting it on then and it gives me a little bit more flexibility to move it around um, but you just have to be more careful that's the only downside to that I'm gonna be honest these lashes are not my favorite they look a little fake to me um, but I'm just gonna go in and add some mascara to them kind of help clump them up a little bit so they look a little more natural and then I'm actually taking an eyeliner pencil I believe is what this is and just kind of using it as my lip liner I'm not sure of the color but I'll double check and make sure I leave that for you guys and then I am going in with my pink lipstick from Urban Decay and that was in the color fiend and then I'm just going to take a little bit of my foundation and I'm just going to clean up my lips just a little bit Well, that was my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. I hope, how many weeks is it even until Valentine's Day? Oh, I got plenty of time. So the goal will be to have at least one more makeup tutorial up and maybe even outfit post on my blog. We'll see, no promises, but I can almost more than likely promise at least another makeup tutorial. So I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you did, be sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down in the bottom and then also click the little bell thing so you can get notifications for any time that I upload a new video. Um, now that I'm a little bit more settled after school, I hope to kind of have this as a consistent thing. So you don't want to miss any of my new videos and I have a whole bunch of amazing projects coming up and things so you don't want to miss any of it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.